everyone. Today we're going to talk about trading, how to make a profit, and the fastest way to rank up. Trading is a good way to start making money as it allows you to steadily make money at a very low buy-in price. It's also required for some of our guild missions and the more people we have at a higher rank, the easier and faster our trade missions are. In the last video, I talked about nodes and how to connect them. Nodes must be connected in order to make a profit from trade, so I've linked that video in the description below for more information. The first thing we'll want to get is a farm wagon. This can be purchased from a stable hand for only 180,000 silver. If you're low on money, farming mob tokens is an easy way to get silver. Most NPCs give you at least 50,000 silver for 100 tokens. If you're already grinding to level up, this is a super easy way to get your first 180,000. Once you have the silver, you can visit a stable hand at any city and purchase the farm wagon. This will allow you to carry 14 trade items if they don't exceed the weight limit, which is around 630. You should be able to fit all 14 slots with most starting trade items. You don't have to buy horses for this wagon since they come with stock horses, but you do have the option to attach up to two of your own horses. Your wagon can wear out and break, so watch the yellow durability bar. I've yet to find out what happens when it breaks, but I'd rather not have goods in it when it does. Eventually you'll have the ability to craft better wagons which have higher speeds, weight limit, and more inventory capacity, but for right now, a farm wagon is a great start. One thing to keep in mind is that when you're carrying trade goods, you can be attacked by bandits which are marked on the map by a red icon. These are pretty easily avoidable and they don't do a whole lot of damage to wagons anyway, so normally you won't have to worry about them. A question that comes up a lot is whether or not distance also affects experience gained. I've tested this at the lowest levels and there is no visible difference in XP gain based on distance. I tested by trading some items from Velia to Bartali Farm and then taking those same items from Velia to Calpheon. So if your aim is simply to level your trading, shorter trade routes are best. Once you have your wagon, you can take it to a trade manager. You'll most likely start out with one in Velia. He offers a variety of items that have a decent stock on them, so you can trade these to the neighboring farms and to Heidel for some quick experience. In order to buy items, just talk to the trade manager and select trade. Make sure you have your wagon close by as it will allow you to store it in your mount's inventory instead of your own. As you're buying, you can see the price for each item as well as the demand. If a bunch of players on your server are all buying the same item, this will cause the demand to skyrocket. If you're looking to make a good profit, it's best to find another item with a lower demand. Likewise, if you're selling, you don't want to sell an item if the supply is high. That is, if a lot of players are selling one of a particular item to the trade manager you're at, you won't be able to sell that item for as high a price as you could at a trade manager with lower supply. So if people are taking a bunch of a certain item to Calpheon from Velia, you might try searching out a trade node near Calpheon that has less traffic. You want to plan your trade routes ahead of time based on what will be the most profitable. One option you have in addition to buying an item is to forecast the market price. Next to the take option, you'll see market price. For one energy, you can view the prices of the item if you were to take it to another node. In one area, it might be selling for 100%, but in another, you might be able to fetch a higher price such as those that show 105%. These numbers constantly change. So now that you have your trade goods, you can take them to most any node. Just look for the nodes on your map that have two arrows pointing outwards. Trade managers can also be found in all the major cities, with places like Calpheon having two managers. In order to sell your goods, you just talk to the trade manager with your mountain range and choose the sell all option. You also have the option to play a sort of bargaining game with the trade manager. There's a few numbers you'll want to pay attention to when you're selling your items. The first is the pile of coins, which is the market price of the item. The second shows a pile of coins with a plus sign on it, which represents the profit you're making if you sell it immediately. This will change if you sell it to a different trader, or if you wait too long. Prices can change after some time based on the trade activity of other players. The third number you want to look at is represented by an arrow with a plus sign, and shows your distance bonus. The farther you trade something, the more silver you make. As you continue to rank up your trading, you'll get access to more profitable items from trade managers. You can also have your workers craft trading goods out of your materials available through workbench buildings, which will be covered in an upcoming guide on building types and locations. If you have any questions on anything I've missed, or have any recommendation on guides you'd like to see from us, feel free to leave a comment below. 
Thanks for watching. Like what you see? Come join SG. Click here to apply. Click here to view our previous video. Click here to go to our Twitch. Click here to go to our Twitter. Don't forget to drop a subscribe. Thank you.